In this video, we're going to discuss the one spiritual discipline that is going to help you lose weight and gain faith. Plus, I'm going to give you access to my new free course on just how to be successful while doing this discipline. Hi, I'm Tyler Enloes, your Christian personal trainer, and here at 517 Fitness, I'm all about helping you lose weight and gain faith. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's jump into today's topic. In Donald Whitney's book, Spiritual Discipline for the Christian Life, he lays out 10 spiritual disciplines. Each of these, let's call them Christian habits, are practices we should be doing regularly as Christians. Like most people would agree that we should eat right, work out, and get a normal amount of sleep, that those are good habits to have. These are habits that we as Christians should add to our daily lives. Donald Whitney goes into talking about praying, reading the Bible, and worship. All of these are pretty common things that we as believers should be doing. With that said, there was one that really stood out to me. The reason this one stood out to me was because it fell exactly into what we talk about here on 517 Fitness. It is a spiritual discipline that actually combines what you eat with growing in your walk. This habit is fasting. So how do you fast? Well, fasting is just abstaining from food for a period of time. During this time, you focus on a spiritual purpose. While I'm not suggesting you should fast till you're at the weight you'd like to be, fasting has been shown to be a healthy way to restart your metabolism and give your body that well-deserved rest it needs after processing such bad food for such a long time. Besides giving your body this rest, fasting is a great time where you can focus on your relationship with God. Throughout the Bible, there is story after story of people like Noah, David, and even Jesus fasting. They would fast in times of need, time of worship, and in even times of guidance. There's actually a lot of reasons why you should fast, but I go more into that in the course. So, for some reason, there seems to be not a full grasp on fasting. It just doesn't seem to be as popular in today's Christian culture, which is very odd because Jesus literally tells us how to fast right after he tells us how to pray. Don't believe me? Go read Matthew 6. So for some reason, everybody's praying, but fasting is not just catching up as it should be in spiritual popularity. Well, that changes today. You can now go get my free course that will walk you step by step on how to fast. In this course, you're going to learn why you should fast, when you should fast, what to expect when fasting, and there's even a checklist for a day of fasting. Plus, I even give you my favorite recipe for while I'm fasting. There's a link down below to where you can get my free course. There's a link down below in the description to where you can get my free course. Fasting is a great way to humble yourself in the presence of God. And I'm honored to help you learn how to add this forgotten spiritual discipline into your daily life. Thank you for watching this video. Once again, don't forget to check out my free course in the description area down below. I'm so honored to bless you with this course. I really hope that it just improves your walk with God as much as fasting has improved my walk with God. Thank you again for watching this video. God bless, finish strong, and I will see you in the course.